so dang frightening Emerald Hills of Montana Tune up the radio static well, I could go on like this forever but I don't think my heart would have it and I try to make it feel Kentucky Sunrise with a gas station coffee It's been a while since I've unpacked my bags Oh, the light that I'm craving And I try to make it feel like home Wish that it would feel like home Better than surrendering If I held myself back, I couldn't live like that. If I held myself back, I couldn't live like that. And if I held myself back, I couldn't live like that. If I held myself back, I couldn't live like that.
She's packing up and moving on Clouds are heavy but they won't pour down Toothbrush stayed but the love was gone Packing up and moving on Left to drape his Left upon the windowsill Taken out but never filled Coffee cup, oh it's empty still And if it's over I think I linger here a while Wipe away the dust that we left out Just a little longer She left her coat beside the bed One she wore that Christmas Aubrey played a joy inside my head Left her coat beside the bed Held on to her just a bit too tight Demon days in the neon nights Freedom's always worth a fight Held on to her just a bit too tight It's over, I think I linger here a while Wipe away the dust that we left out If it's moving on, I think I linger here a longer Just a little Welcome. Bienvenue. Thank you for joining us at th for the 2023 SNAP Gala Awards Night. It's a celebration of creativity of Canadian artists and our fifth biennial SNAP Prize, Saltzburg National Art Prize. A special welcome and thank you to those joining us from across Canada and hopefully internationally as well, um, through live streaming of this event. Tonight's celebration takes multiple First Nations, including the Cowichans, Sawasan, Tsewut, Tsartlip, Pakuchan, Malahat, and Tsekum peoples, 
many of them who um, continue to work with us and steward the lands. We acknowledge the land, we honor their stewardship, and we honor the people who've had a presence here long before we arrived. My name is Janet Hallowell, and I have the honor of being the president of the SNAP Society. This is the charitable organization that manages the prize and associated events. And we have many associated events, increasing numbers as the years go on. And I'm delighted to launch this evening's ceremony. So in opening, I want to thank the many people who've brought the dream of this open, inclusive National Art Prize to fruition. I want to welcome the 26 SNAP finalists who are with us in the theater tonight. Great to have you here. And also I want to welcome many of the local artists. In addition to the extraordinary show of SNAP finalists, we have been enjoying the work of many local artists in the galleries that are adjacent to this theater um, just prior to this event. I also want to recognize the passing of Loretta Golby Davies. Loretta was our dear colleague and friend. She was a director and treasurer of the society, a talented artist, um, an incredible and successful entrepreneur, um, an involved and dedicated volunteer. Loretta's door was always open for artists, for jurors, for SNAP staff, for myself, for all of my colleagues, um, all the volunteers who were looking for information for an ear or whatever. Um, Loretta, you are sorely missed, and Lewis, we welcome you in the audience with us tonight. Loretta's husband. Now, in addition to recognizing our remarkable finalists and announcing the winners of the various awards that are gonna be profiled in the ceremonies tonight, um, we are here to recognize the creative spirit of artists across Canada. So I wanna take a moment to reflect on why art is so important in our lives. The lives of artists, the lives of our youth, and the lives of some of us, like myself, who are enriched by the creative work of our artist communities, but frankly are not artists. We don't have that creative spirit ourselves. But we love art. Art is different things to many people. But for me, four things stand out. Art is a vital mode of communication, a unique means of expression, allowing us to convey complex emotions and ideas that words might fail to convey and capture. Second, art acts as a collective memory of society, recording and preserving for future generations the knowledge of our existence helping us understand who we are as a society today. Art stimulates and challenges, and it's not always comfortable. It causes us to think more deeply about our ideas, our emotions, and our values. And art is transformative. It has the ability to alter perceptions and catalyze change. It can shape, influence, and reflect society. And we, do, we need that right now. It can change opinions, instill values across space and time. We can't place a monetary value on art. Culture is a essential, it's the essence of a healthy and vibrant society. And it, I think it would be, be unthinkable to have our lives without art. So tonight, we celebrate art we celebrate artists. And my thanks to all who have made this celebration possible. Now, I'm gonna introduce your event hosts. 
um, who will, of course, also introduce themselves a bit. But we have two MCs for tonight's event. Kaylee Yarwood, who is the owner of Steffage Gallery here on Salt Spring Island, and who you heard speak in the gallery um, just before this ceremony. And with her, John Bateman, a multidisciplinary artist who shares the stage with Kaylee as our event host for the evening. So let me invite Kaylee to the stage. Hello there. <laughs> what are you doing here? Who let you have a microphone? Yeah, it, the, actually the reason I have a microphone is, well, I was gonna, yeah, um, is, I'll, I forgot it backstage, hold on a sec. It's. Oops, someone's not prepared. Oh no. Award-winning comedian, 2019 and uh, 2018, and uh, I'd like to note that favorite writer, not best writer by any stretch of the imagination. Fav oh, favorite yeah. writer, so yeah. not three-time award-winning. Comedian, funniest. no. No? Arvid beat me from the grave with that one. He did, Arvid, Arvid had died and he won that award over me, so I have the distinction of losing to somebody who had already, who already died. Arvid, you can laugh at it. Arvid would think it was funny. He's been up here many times. Well, I have to apologize for uh, John. Uh, our budget didn't afford. Um, it was basically a donation from the Bateman Foundation, edition three of five. Did you say, so we're volunteering for this? <laughs> Just a second. Okay. All right. <laughs> Thank volunteering you. it is. What? Oops, could you hear us all? Do we need to do all those jokes over we'll here? again. <laughs> Hello? All right, testing. Ready? We're good, we're good? Ah. Well, thank you so much for coming. It was actually uh, quite for me, knowing that John is such an awesome, funny guy. Um, I do have some jokes that I just wanted to test out. Uh, <laughs> uh, so, uh, John, what kind of shoes do artists wear? Well, I, I can see your notes, but I won't say it. You want to do the punchline? All right. Okay. <laughs> uh, I, I don't know. Nike? Catchers. Ah. <laughs> Do you want this, another one? This is Kaylee's. So yeah, another one. Round of applause. Yeah. Kaylee's got another one. <laughs> one more. <laughs> How do you get an arts major off your doorstep? <laughs> it's actually funny but true. This one's a funny but true. I don't know. I don't have any idea how. Pay for the pizza. <laughs> oh. Are there any? Before we do that one, is there any artists in the room? We don't want to offend anybody. <laughs> Okay, go ahead. You, you have one All more. Right. You're not going to do the third? You want me to do the third? Do the third one. All we're, right. We're, it's we're... a pretty good one. All right. A friend of mine is drawing realistic pictures of the Ford F-150. Why is that? He's a pickup artist. Ah, okay. <laughs> All right. We're done, right? Okay. I'll give you, I'll give you the 2018 uh, Funniest <laughs> Person yes, Salt Spring Award. You can have that one. All right. Well, we got much bigger awards to give out Do tonight. Do we ever? We have incredible so, awards to give out. And doesn't it feel good as not coming out of our bank account? No, I'm so oh. glad. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. But we certainly will be thanking the donors for these awards. Oh, definitely. Right. On that note, I'd like to thank the um, quite a key player that has uh, kind of started the evening off, Janet. Um, she is quite an incredible individual. And if you don't know Janet, uh, she is not only our president of the SNAP Society and board chair, who grow up surrounded by arts with her family involvement in the Agnes Arrington Arts Center of Queen's University. Her passion for the arts led her and her husband to collect stunning First Nations artists since the 70s. And though not an artist herself, Janet has been a zealous advocate for the arts community since relocating to Salt Spring Island in 2007. Plus, she is a fellow of the Royal Society of Canada. Talk about impressive. So I'd like to give a nice big round of applause for Janet uh, for introducing us. Quite an honor. 
And then we've got uh, some other key players up on the stage. Here, Ron Crawford, who is a painter, a stone sculptor, and Mason, founding director of the Salt Spring National Art Prize. He's educated in studio arts and art history and has been at Red Deer College, the Banff Center of Arts, University of Calgary, and University of Oklahoma. And he is one of this dream founders, roots of the Salt Spring National Art Prize. So let's give a round of applause for Ron Michael. Wow, that's pretty good, Ron. You got some, you got some whoops in there. All right. Oh, right. Yeah. And on that note, would you like to take it away with... I'm introduced, I didn't know I was introducing Anthony. Anthony. No, I did. I did. <laughs> Anthony is a, he's a raconteur, an art a historian, a, a gardener, but uh, he's also a, he's been a lover and supporter of the arts for many years on Salt Spring Island. He was one of the founding, uh, one of the first people to sit down and, and be a part of this snap show. Uh, Anthony's a curator. Uh, if you get a chance to speak to him, you should, because he's done literally everything. Um, I've had dinner with him a couple of times over the last couple of weeks, and it's been... I mean, I knew him before because, you know, Salt Spring, you know everybody a little bit. Uh, Anthony and I did some woodworking and gardening together several years ago, and uh, we got quite close uh, at that point. But, um, so yeah, you should uh, pull Anthony over after this, the award show, and talk to him because he's got a tremendous amount of things to say, and he's contributed so amazingly to this, including being the manager of the Snap Show. So he put everything up there, what you see there on the walls, he orchestrated it. And uh, Anthony, thank you, and welcome to the stage. And these amazing people will be presenting your awards tonight, so stay tuned. And I'd like to take the opportunity to welcome, of course, all of you. Um, I, it's really interesting being up here. I can't see any of you. Um, but I'll just do this. You, and you, and you. I'll point randomly. Everybody that came to the show tonight, and uh, the live stream, of course, we are going live uh, right across the internet. Everywhere people have access to the internet, they can see this if they choose. I'm glad they can't see my knocking knees behind this. Are podium your knees here. knocking? <laughs> <laughs> um, and uh, so, so we've got the live stream going, and I want to know, I want to make sure that my good, I think this is my good side, so I'll look at you this way the entire time. I'll stand in profile and look this way. Does that sound good? So that's the, that's the live stream that's been happening. And yeah, it'll be great. And we've enjoyed some amazing tunes from Fox and Hound, who had serenaded you on your way in. This intimate yet audacious folk duo, Fox and Hound, captivates with an authenticity as raw as Wind Whip Prairie, a beautiful blend of Canadian ruggedness and American lyricism. Phoenix Lazar and Justin Kelly concoct a bewitching tapestry of music their songwriting, a poetic dalliance, plunges the listener into the abyss of love and longing with their soul-stirring ethereal harmonies. Alvis elegantly perched atop a luminous bed of guitar craftsmanship that twinkles like a starlit sky. And I really implore you to check out their website because writing that is definitely inspired by what you get on their incredible debut album, EP, and incredibly written website, so definitely check them out if you get a chance. That's some five-star wordsmithing there. Did you guys hear that? that did, did Phoenix hear that? That was incredible. <laughs> Thanks, Gilly. And I'd like to thank our anchor sponsors, Asher Art, Country Grocer, Harvest Moon, Upper Ganges Liquor Store. So that is the one that's by GVM, which is now, now called Country Grocer. So you can still call it GVM and still get away with it, I think. We're still there. Uh, so it's the, it's the liquor store there. So the, just to let you know, the two other liquor stores downtown didn't support us. <laughs> uh -oh. I don't want to point any fingers, but if the two other liquor stores are watching on live stream right now, support Snap next time. And you'll get a shout out just like the fabulous people at the Uptown Liquor Store. Thank you. And the Point Gallery and, of course, uh, Windsor Plywood. And now for our media sponsors locally. The Driftwood, Preview Magazine, and The Fishbowl. Man, it's just been amazing how much press we've got, and we really have a lot to thank for that. That reminds me, hold on a sec, Kaylee. 
Again? <laughs> yeah, I, I, uh, I used to write for the fishbowl. I forgot to bring this out. Um, I don't normally do this oh, kind of thing. Oh, dear. But I uh, just want to put it there. Available at Steffich Fine Art. <laughs> plug, plug. <laughs> Speaking of local businesses... We'll be doing an auction. We'll auction that off uh, later in the evening, starting the bidding at one penny. Okay. And local businesses. Antipesto's Cafe, Gallery 8, Gary Oaks, Pod Contemporary, Salt Spring Gallery, Salt Spring Island Cheese, South End Sausage, and of course, Stephage Fine Art. Thank you, Kaylee. <laughs> Shout out to Matt Stephage. <laughs> And our community sponsor of Salt Spring Arts, our community council, and we really couldn't have done it without you because the whole show is hung beautifully in the space. So if you have not seen it yet, um, please do check that out. And there will be some videos online on our YouTube channel, so subscribe for more updates and more interviews and some amazing things coming forward. So thank you, Salt Spring Arts. Okay, so we just finished and concluded our Parallel Art Show, which is our little sister of the Salt Spring National Art Prize, showcasing amazing local artists. We're going to just summarize all these amazing winners that come from our little island and broadcast how much incredible work is on this coast, incredible artists. Okay, so third prize was a $1,000 sponsored by Country Grocer. And that went to... Jane Kidd, Inheritance Gown 3, from Salt Spring Island. You know what I just realized? We can, because it's a snap show, instead of oh. applauding, you guys can do this kind of cool beatnik thing if you want. Let's just try it Very out, okay? Cool. Let's try it on the next one. No, 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 please. please. Um, let's try it on the next one, okay. Uh, second prize, $1,500 sponsored by Country Grocer. That is Hannah on Tripod by Steel Foil from Salt Spring Island. Don't, who clapped? <laughs> Did anybody see who clapped back there? That was good. Uh, we can, you, you know, let's just make it uh, optional. You can clap or you can snap. You want toes too? No, yeah, exactly. No judgment. No judgment here. Uh, first prize was a $2,000 donated by Michael Whitfield. And that was going to uh, Gary Kay of Salt Spring Island for Frosty Field. Congratulations, Gary. It always bugs me with Gary because he doesn't put a lot of time into his work. <laughs> 13 months. Yeah, him and Bly, you know, they kind of just <laughs> whip them off, slap something on a canvas. Unbelievable. You get a chance, definitely. Yeah, yeah. We'll something notice. to see. Oh, we shouldn't plug your gallery too many times, I guess. <laughs> uh, and the, uh, the, spons uh, the uh, Matt Steffich Award, which is $3,000, sponsored by Windsor Plywood, of course. And that went to Fragile Reflections, Diana Sanderson from Salt Spring Island. Congratulations, great winners. And the show will be up tomorrow, so please do go take a peek. There's some incredible pieces there um, all day from 10 to 4 tomorrow. I was just about to say, okay, and now we start the real awards, but I think that's kind of demeaning to the past people. Oh, yes. Yeah. Nope. Those were some real Now we're awards. doing the SNAP Awards. We've officially moved out of the PASS Awards, and now we're into the SNAP Awards, just to you keep guys. your compass straight here. Um, I would also like to mention, when we were, when we were handed these out, we would, of course, encourage any artists that are in the... Uh, how many artists do we have here, by the way? Can we have a little, like, a round of applause or something, some hands? How many artists we got here? Wow. Okay, so how many people claim themselves as an artist on their income tax return? <laughs> That's one. We got two. <laughs> That's fabulous. Uh, Salt Spring, I'm sorry. It's just, you know, you kind of, everybody's kind of an artist here, I guess. <laughs> Kaylee, I think, or I think maybe Janet called me an artist. Thank you, Janet. <laughs> uh, so what we're going to do is we're going to invite you to come to the stage um, to come up and you'll come to the center. You'll receive a, a little bouquet. You'll receive what to me looks like a diploma back here. <laughs> and then you'll receive, I guess, uh, a transfer or something eventually. I don't have the cash with me. John! <laughs> Nobody gave it to me. Um, where's, but chance. if you're coming up on the stage, it's a little bit precarious. Where's Mac? Oh, where's Mac? There okay, he is. Mac, yes. let's just do a little demo. Here's what you're supposed to do. Thank you. Like so. 
and then back up. Thank you, Matt. <laughs> voila. <laughs> That's Mackenzie uh, Flett, who is the son of uh, Jane Mackenzie, who's an artist at the Pass Show. And speaking of those beautiful bouquets, right here, we'd like to really congratulate Leanne Gallagher and Julie Kubrick from Shearwater Farms, all grown on Salt Spring, for contributing these incredible pieces that you'll all walk home with today. Or at least, you guys, we can't, we can't transfer them on the internet yet, can we? The flowers are transferable. If a winner wins one and wants to pass them to somebody else or give a single flower to somebody, not naming any names, then you can do that. Noted. But the prize money, I believe, is not transferable. But if it is, not naming any names... <laughs> Uh, so now we would like to welcome back Janet. You're probably sick of hearing it from us, so. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, they're not. That baby's sick of hearing from us. Okay, <laughs> Janet, welcome back to the stage. I can see I've been appropriately welcomed um, by a chorus from our youth, and this is a youth award. Um, in the People's Choice voting, early on in the, in the history of SNAP, we decided that the youth actually thought quite differently than the adults in terms of what they felt were the most interesting pieces that spoke to them. So we separate the youth vote from the adult vote, and we now have a youth vote prize. It doesn't go necessarily to the mo most youthful artist, but it does represent the youth's choice. So I am absolutely delighted to announce the winner of the Youth Award, and that is David Shepard from Hamilton, Ontario. Now, David is not with us today, so let me just speak briefly to, to uh, to him. He is a 2D, 3D artist known for his highly realistic drawings and paintings in both traditional and digital mediums, and you'll certainly see the incredible realism in his work, um, Whiff Shot and Grace, which is in Man Hall. Um, he first exhibited oil paintings professionally at the age of 19 and is a graduate of the Academy of Realist Art in Toronto. And I will have to say, realist is definitely the word for David's work. Um, as a traditional artist creating realism oil paintings, his work has been shown internationally in Arcadia Gallery, New York, Galleries Bartou, Paris, and Habitat Gallery, West Palm Beach, among others. So congratulations, David, for the winner of the Youth Award. Thank you very much, Janet. <clears throat> Another round of applause for Janet, please. Has anybody done that before? Has anybody done that for you before? One more round of applause for Janet. She really is a superstar. Ron's looking pretty lonely up here. Another round for Ron. <laughs> I told and you, Anthony, who gave him a microphone? <laughs> Anthony's a bit more on the edge, so let's do the snapping for Anthony. There we go. It's a bit more postmodern uh, feel. Sorry, Kaylee. <laughs> Kaylee's regretting inviting me to do this with her. Never. Never. Well, we've got the People's Choice Awards next, which are pretty important. One of my favorite kinds of prizes. Calculating it all, how you all think. Fascinating. In, in true Salt Spring style, like, there was a lot of votes. Like, Salt Spring's got one of the higher voter turnouts uh, when it comes to elections and those kind of frivolous things, um, meaningless sort of endeavors that we take on every once every few years. Uh, but there's, this is certainly an important uh, one, and a lot of people did uh, chime in and vote uh, online and in person. And uh, I'm sure many of you voted, voted too. Um, a round of applause. I just, I'd like to know who voted for themselves out there. Is that Gary? That's Gary Kay. I can recognize those hands anywhere. <laughs> so we're going to present, present the uh, People's Choice Awards. And again, please do come up if you're here. We've got some really beautiful flowers for you. I'd like to take a picture. Yeah. 
Uh, third prize is $1,000 donated by the Wilding Foundation. And the Wilding Foundation. I'd like to speak a little bit about them. Their grand quest is to shower funds upon other charities that share a passion for the epic love story between art and technology. They seek charities that rock the programming world, dance with the arts, and tango with the science initiatives, all while embracing the fantastic maker community. Their recent adventures bestowed treasures upon the Salt Spring National Art Prize to fuel our noble charitable endeavors. May the art tech fusion be ever in our favor. So thank you. Let's give a round of applause to the Wilding Foundation for sponsoring this prize and a few others. By the way, apparently if you ever want a bio done, you get Kaylee to do it. Wow, fabulous. Uh, the third prize, which is $1,000, goes to El Manto, which is Katie Biele of Victoria, BC. So come do we have Katie? Up, do we? Oh, she's right here. Here comes Mac. Wait, don't, don't go. There you go. Mac to help you up. She is a Chilean-born artist who now calls Victoria, B.C. her home. Her art is a feast for the senses, mesmerizing fusion of South American hues that will take you on a journey beyond the ordinary. With a magical touch that spans painting, embroidery, and fiber installations, she's left her mark at the Textile Museum of Canada and the National Museum of Singapore. Watch out for this incredible creator. I bet she'd be open to putting her incredible embroidery installations on the moon if she could. Congratulations. Congratulations. Uh, second prize of the People's Choice Award, $2,500 donated by Nina and John Castles, who have been incredible supporters of uh, SNAP. And the winner of that, oh, you want to, yeah, yeah, sorry, yeah. Do, do John and Nina. We've got to thank the people that support yeah. our prizes. So Nina and John Castles have been really great supporters for so long. And they're of Salt Spring Island. They're kind of like our fairy god parents of our community that sprinkle kindness and generosity wherever they go. So please, a round of applause for their contributions to this prize. And the winner of the second place, $2,500, donated by Nina and John Castles, is Mullianne Nemito Mascotiu by Cheyenne Rain Legrand, Edmonton, Alberta. <laughs> and she's here. <laughs> Fabulous. Meet Cheyenne Rain Legrand. Anihio. Cheyenne Rain Legrand, a Nihyo Itko artist from Big Stone Cree Nation, now based in Edmonton. Cheyenne's unique creations span history, wisdom, and age old traditions using her body and language as her canvas and ink to take us on a mesmerizing journey through time. She's not just an artist, but a time traveling storyteller whose canvas is the universe. Fabulous. Congratulations. Congratulations. <clears throat> Before we go to the first place, I just want to test it one more time. A round of applause for Janet. <laughs> this is the last time I'm going to do anything with Janet. I can tell right now. This is the end of it. It's been a good run, Janet. That's for sure. Okay, first place, 3500 donated also by the Wilding Foundation. Thank you very much. Uh, and that is The Meadow, version 3, 
Maureen O'Connor from Toronto, Ontario. Um. Maureen is not, uh, Maureen's not present, but Kay Kaylee certainly has something to say about her. Maybe Maureen is in the... On the live. Congratulations. Oh, so, Maureen, congratulations. Ah. So, Maureen, a Toronto photography wizard and OCAD graduate. She's not your average photographer. She's an animal lover with a magical camera lens. Her photos feature sanctuary dwelling animals, often in historic Toronto homes, pre-makeover creating a whims whimsical blend of nature and architecture. Maureen's work invites you to explore this unique collision of wild creatures and cozy homes, sparking your imagination about Can yeah, Canada's identity. Congratulations. Fabulous. All right, we would like to thank and welcome back up Fox and Hound to play us some tunes while we get ready for our next round of awards. Fox and Hound. Got married, headed out of town, kept on going a hundred miles out. But if we got lost out there, the great unknown, picked up sticks like little kids, and built ourselves a home. And I Talk about it, so we'll go and slow motion. We decided to disappear, disconnect for a second, haven't seen a star in years, we could get to know each other all over again, and relive every moment that we didn't want to end. We'll go in slow motion, slow motion, yeah, slow motion, slow motion. Slow
it's a will go in slow motion, slow motion, slow motion, slow motion. Thanks. Who said that? <laughs> I'm the only another applause person officially allowed to another applause for Janet and Janet reprimanded me backstage, said I'll never work in this town again. So for that one, I would like another round of applause. I don't even need to say it anymore. Kaylee? I forgot that we didn't even introduce ourselves. You all just accepted us. Thank you for accepting us for who we are <laughs> without our introductions. Yeah. So uh, I think I introduce you. Sure. Uh, you introduce me. I introduce you. You don't want me introducing myself. <laughs> no, we probably We don't can't like run that long. <laughs> Believe me. All right. So here is Johnny Bateman, writer, comedian, incredible woodworker. Hmm. What else? What else do you do? <sighs> Musician. Uh, you had a recording studio. I had an invention once. Remember I did that invention? And you're a, you're a, he's a secret artist. You graduate from... I cannot be one of those people on Salt Spring that says I'm an artist. Yeah. 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 Pretty amazing guy. So we just thought we'd introduce uh, ourselves. Thank you, Kaylee. So round of applause for Johnny. So Kaylee wrote down a few things for me to say about her here. Um, just a second. What page do I start on? Just a second Lucky here. Lucky number four. Yeah, Okay. Kaylee M. Yarwood uh, has been on Salt Spring for 10 years, somewhere around there. Um, she's best known as Pavlov's mother. It's kind of like me having a famous father, you have a famous dog. Um, Pretty true. <laughs> Kaylee's also an artist, she's an actor, she is a, an incredible business person, she's an incredible techie. Yeah, I know that's a compliment. A lot of people may not think that is, but she is an incredible techie. She uh, took over uh, my best friend Matt Steffich's gallery. She's now the owner of it. And she's doing what I consider to be, I was, I've been hanging around that gallery for 20 years, and I consider it to be, it just looks fabulous now, Kaylee. So congratulations on that good work. She's really, she takes a lot of, she consider, well, just, just spending time with her, she considers Matt all the time in her decisions. So. Matt is still alive in many ways, uh, especially through the way you're doing things there. So that's great. Thanks, Kaylee. That's very sweet of you. Thank you. Thank you. All right. Now I'd like to introduce another mover and shaker on this community. Hmm. Yeah. Or maybe you should. Who, oh, but I'm but introducing. I, I just stole your line. I'm sorry. Kaylee made the cue cards, by the way. They're, it's really been helpful. She did. She spent about 12 hours working these cue cards. <laughs> Volunteering, just to let you know. Um, quality work. Yeah, it is quality work. Uh, I'm going to introduce Margaret Day to present the residency award. Uh, so, Margaret, are you in the... Is Margaret here? Margaret There's Margaret. Here. So I'm going to give a little background about Margaret. Um, so, back in 2001, Margaret waved her creative wand and voila, the Point Gallery was born on Salt Spring Island. With over 60 exhibitions and shows under her belt, she's been a curator extraordinaire, showcasing the art of a diverse group of artists. But that's not all. Margaret's a true community gem. She's got a sharp creative flair, a way with words that'll make you want to know more about whatever art show she is promoting. She's a true community pillar of our local and global arts community. So a round of applause for Margaret. 
Margaret's going to be presenting the residency award, uh, which, which will bring an artist to Salt Spring uh, to work on their passion here. Uh, it'll also mean that they have to do Margaret's recycling while they're here. <laughs> Is that what you said backstage? Is that what Actually, it was? chopping the wood is a big Chopping right wood. Now. So if you're somebody here who wins it, you're going to be chopping Margaret's wood. But um, it's a small price to pay for what they're getting. So Margaret, um, here you go. I don't know if you need that card, but there it is to announce the winner. Um, I'd just like to say a couple of things before I announce the winner. And that's that um, as somebody who loves artist residencies, I just love the a direction that SNAP has taken on this, um, which is to open it up to every one of the um, finalists who are who were given the opportunity to submit a proposal. And we had some wonderful proposals. Um, you know, it's difficult to choose, but I am very excited by who we have chosen, and that person is Lynn Kadai. So I should add to that that um, I thought one of the best uh, panel events that this island has seen in a long time was the ceramics panel. Um, <laughs> so the jury made up their mind way before that, but after that I was even more excited and then uh, yesterday I had the opportunity to talk to Lynn and I am super excited. I happen to be at that uh, ceramics panel, and she's really wonderful at speaking. I'm sorry to put you on the spot, but you should say something. And I just wanted to do a preface, because I'm not sure if when you stepped off the ferry, you came to the Parallel Art Show, but when she came into the gallery, she, among other things, was so inspirational for me. Um, but she just said, how do I move and, and live here, and I just think it's so fitting of an award for you, so congratulations. Gosh, I, um, I really did not expect that, and I did not prepare anything. Um, I prepared a speech that I said at the panel, um, but the three words that stay with me from that speech is our um, justice, freedom, and uh, peace. I'd like to say a little bit more for Lynn. Hailing for Beirut, now a resident of Montreal, she's a boundary-breaking artist whose work delves into the politics of imagery, navigating the complex complexities of space, borders, and identity in a post-colonial world. Her art seamlessly blends textuality with auto-theory, while her video and installation pieces create a symphony of creativity. With academic accomplishments, including a BA in literacy studies and an MFA in theater and performance, she infuses intellectual depth into her artistic endeavors. Her work has graced international exhibitions, revealing the power of creativity to transcend cultural and temporal boundaries. Congratulations, Lynn. Uh, this next presenter for the Juror's Choice Awards uh, needs no introduction. You were supposed to walk up when I did that. You are supposed to walk up because I wasn't, then I wasn't going to introduce you because I did it already. We didn't do any rehearsing. Uh, I'm just kidding. Anthony Matthews uh, is, is going to be here to help us out with uh, the Juror's Choice Awards. Thank you, Anthony. And Anthony's pretty amazing, so there's another round of applause. I know many of you have people in the audience, and I'm so glad to see you all here tonight. Um, 
I'm modern, so I brought an iPad rather than notes. But uh, <laughs> I like Sorry. to on, Anthony. She's, and they're the techies, and I, I just feel that, uh, yeah, anyway. Um, my name's Anthony Matthews, and I've been introduced almost sufficiently by John Bateman. Uh, I'm the SNAP finalist exhibition gallery manager, and I've been involved with SNAP since its inception in 2014. I'm very happy to be here tonight uh, with all these smiling, welcoming faces, uh, family, friends, supporters, associates, donors. Um, it's wonderful to have you all here tonight. You're the reason why we continue, and we're looking forward to our sixth show in two years. Don't go anywhere. Um, I'm going to speak for a moment just about the jury process um, briefly. Um, Chosen through a vetting process um, from distinguished Canadian arts professionals, including curators, collectors, dealers, gallerists, and artists, SNAP jurors use a blind jury process. When they review the submissions, they only see an image of the work of art submitted, and they see a brief artist statement. Through a series of elimination rounds, they narrow the submission pool down to the 52 artists you'll see in the exhibition, if you've been to the exhibition, or you'll see it tomorrow. Um, midway through the exhibition, we actually get a visit from the jurors. We bring them here to Salt Spring Island, and they see the show for the first time in person. And that is when they choose the prize winners. It's one thing, of course, to choose uh, the submissions for the finalist exhibition by photographs, but you really want to see the work when we're talking about giving away distinguished prizes. Um, the professionalism and attention to, uh, shown by the jurors and the spirit that they exhibit towards the prize and our philosophy has been exemplary. In addition, nothing could have prepared me for the warm welcome and friendliness that was exhibited towards us by the jurors we met them for the first time they have become our new friends. Due to geographic and scheduling considerations, our first two juror awards tonight will join us via prepared video statements. And I'd like to introduce them in turn. First up, it's my pleasure to welcome and introduce Gaetan Verna. She's a past chief curator and artistic director of the Power Plant Contemporary Art Gallery in Toronto and is now the executive director of the Wexner Center for the Arts in Columbus, Ohio. And now in her own words. Bonjour, hello. My name is Gaetan Verna and my juror's choice is Bruce Van Slyke. Bruce is excited to get the flowers. I had the opportunity to talk to interview Bruce at the opening, and um, if you get a chance to talk to him, you should. He's a really interesting person, um, and he's doing really interesting things with his photography. And for my, uh, that, that would have been my choice as well, if I am ever <clears throat> invited to be on the jury. <laughs> I have a BFA, Ron. Uh, thanks. Yeah. <laughs> uh, 
Uh, like John, likewise, I really enjoyed Bruce's work. I felt it summed up um, the current situation with housing and security we have in this nation. And uh, I admire the work tremendously. Thank you, Bruce. Um, our next juror is a well-respected and distinguished award-winning gallerist from Montreal, Quebec, who owns the eponymously named gallery Pierre-Francois Ouellet, Art Contemporain. Now, in his own words, Bonsoir, good evening. My name is Pierre-François Ouellet. I'm from Montreal and I'm one of the jurors this year and very honored though, to be presenting my jurors prize. And my prize goes to Ridel Cicero for his photograph. I just want to, hi guys. I just want to say hi to my mom and my dad at watching at the live stream. This is for y'all. Yeah, it's been a tough time, but yeah, without you guys, I wouldn't be here. Thank you. <laughs> um, here on the stage with us tonight is Helga Pakasar. Helga is an independent curator and past ordained chief curator at the Polygon Gallery in Vancouver. Previous to that, she was a curator at the Art Gallery of Windsor, and at the Walter Phillips Gallery in Banff. Helga? Hi. It's really a pleasure to be here. Uh, I just want to preface my remarks by saying that, of course, these, these prizes are really difficult to arrive at, and there were so many wonderful works, and the jurors' choices were also extremely difficult, so um, that's, that's just where the chips fall. Uh, I've been asked to say a few words about why I made my choice, and I think, um, well, for, for starters, I thought that this piece by Daniel Laboot, oh, we don't have the picture yet, um, is uh, a very provocative uh, example of how the definitions between art and craft are nebulous uh, in many cases and in maybe the most interesting cases. And this work called um, Crusty But Compelling was ex very compelling to me from the beginning of just entering the space and seeing this sculpture it's first and foremost, I would say, a figurative sculpture, but it's also a pot. And uh, it's reminded me or made me think about amphoras or ancient vessels and maybe something that was just um, kind of dug up from the earth, subject to weather and many other conditions. And then uh, you're really enticed to move around it and discover its various landscapes and references that include everything from geological conditions to landscapes and also to constellations. And I think there's a kind of complexity to, to that. And it's surprising because the initial um, view is, 
you know, not the whole story, and you really uh, are compelled to interact with it. So um, this is, I think, a very important part of our dis discourses in contemporary art, where art and visual art, classic visual art and craft um, conflate and um, confuse one another, and um, that's partly why I was really interested in uh, giving a prize to this work. Well, thank you so much. Um, I'm not going to throw up. It's fine. <laughs> um, I'll say this very quickly. Ten years ago in October, I took my first ceramics class. And ten years ago in October, I married my wife. And so this is pretty fabulous to be here right now. So thank you all. Our last juror, who won't be joining us tonight due to family obligations, is esteemed Kwak 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 artist Richard Hunt. From a family synonymous with First Nations art on Vancouver Island in the Pacific Northwest, he began carving with his father at the age of 14, 13 actually. Um, his father was a late Henry Hunt, respected carver, um, who also was the chief carver at Thunderbird Park at the Royal BC Museum in Victoria, where Richard went on later to be the chief carver himself in turn. He has been awarded numerous distinctions in his long career, not limited to, but including the Order of Canada. I'm pleased to announce that Richard's juror's, juror's choice goes to Martin Blanchet for his work La Tête dans la Nuage, Martin isn't with us tonight, but he's watching from his home in Quebec with his wife, Chantal. In English, his work translates roughly as head in the clouds. Martin states that art is a haven that allows me to convey without confines both my unconditional amazement for nature and the atmospheres that molded me. He continues, I worship our planet by depicting essential states of mind that exist between us and our environment. Unconsciously, I try to preserve Mother Nature one painting at a time. That's a tremendous sentiment, and I have to agree with him. Congratulations to Martin and to all our jurors at this moment. Um, he's not here tonight, of course, so how will we approach this award? Him. Applaud him. So Let's applaud him. <laughs> and I'd like to thank all our jurors for their participation, their kindness, their generosity of spirit and dedication to the profession in the process of selecting the finalists for, for SNAP 2025. Sorry, 23, pardon me. <laughs> I'm getting ahead of myself, right? Thank you very much. I thought we were snapping fingers for Anthony. I didn't know we were going back to the clapping. That was great, Anthony. Thank you very much. Thank you. And again, a big kudos to the jurors. Just such a hard choice. I wouldn't want to have that job, that's no. for sure. No. Such quality work. And yeah. Amazing. So, big round of applause. I and mean, the amount of dedicated hours that they put in. Truly. Truly.
I don't know if I'm allowed to introduce Ron. No, were you? I think I've been blacklisted <laughs> since the first act. He pulled me backstage. That article? Yeah. That article? You saw the you saw the yelling match backstage. <laughs> well, Ron is a pretty special character, like we said before, and he's going to be introducing our amazing patron. But uh, I'll definitely give it away to him to introduce her because she deserves the recognition. It, it, they're like Batman and Robin to this prize. Yeah, they are Batman and Robin. Yeah. I'm not sure which is which at this point, but we'll figure it out. <laughs> There's such a key component on how this art prize was dreamt up between the two of the next individuals that you'll see. So Ron will introduce uh, our next award um, giver. So we're very excited. Thank you and, and welcome. I'd, I'd like to welcome the uh, audience here. Um, and also the audience across the country. Um, I'm not modern. I, I have handwritten notes, <laughs> you know, but, uh, you know, I just wanted to talk for a moment about SNAP. I won't take a lot more of the time before we get to the final uh, winner and I get the opportunity to introduce Joan. Um, I had a conversation with a friend of mine, actually, just a couple of days ago, and uh, he asked me, um, why do we do SNAP, and uh, why it's important? Um, that was actually quite a question, um, probably a little bit late for me to think about it. <laughs> you know, it's, uh, it's been 10 years since we began SNAP, um, five shows, um, over 10,000 submissions by artists across the country, and over 250 artists represented um, in the SNAP competition and the prize. The, new, the unique nature of a, of a, of, of a national event is, um, is both important in, in its success. What I found with, with the evolution and the creation of SNAP is that the show is successful because of its uniqueness. And that, I think, has been reflected in the quality of the art and, uh, and also the interest that we've had from artists across the country. Um, it's unique for a lot of things, um, and Anthony's already gone into depth about the jury process. It's unique, actually, as well, because it was a prize that was begun by artists. So it's a prize that artists would like to be part of, that artists designed. And then on top of that, it basically is supported and done by a community, a community of sponsors and a community of people and a community of artists. That's unheard of. It's not a government-funded art show. It's not a corporation-funded art show. It's an art show created by artists for artists. Um, I'm going to forget everything else. I don't know why I write things down. but. Uh, the main reason that SNAP is unique, I think, is because of the 52 artists that we have in this show right here, in this show, and the artists that we've had in past shows. The quality, the richness, and the depth of the works created um, show the vision of such a diverse group of artists. Um, in the past, I've tried to come up with a few key words, you know, to sort of describe the exhibition, but this one is so diverse and so interesting that to come up with just one explanation or one word um, would be very difficult. Um, in 2021, of course, that word was COVID, and so that was very easy. But this year, the work is just so incredibly diverse. So I wrote out just some rambling thoughts, <laughs> and then I'll, I promise I'll introduce Joan. Um, these are my thoughts that have come to me as I've looked at the show and I've had the chance to look at it just about every day for a month. I think it's about what the art is about, and the art is about a lot. Displacement, loneliness, memory, what is remembered, what is disappeared. How is the land etches into the bodies and the faces of people. The conditions of the human heart as a reef of love letters. The human body and its connections to the land. A glance, self-reflection, love, until 
and sheer beauty of its form. The environment, our place in it, our homes, our homelessness, our trailers, and our tents. How the material the artist you chooses then chooses the message, unconventional clay, weaving, paint, photography, wood, embroidery, embroidery, beer cans, asphalt, and bitmen. There may be more questions in this 2023 exhibition than there are answers, but I think that might just be the purpose in the nature of art. Thank you. <laughs> now it's my privilege to introduce um, the spirit uh, and the first support uh, of the Art Prize, um, our friend and cherished uh, person, Joan McConnell, to help, help me give up the prize. Yeah. I can't see anyone out there, but I know you were all there, and I was wondering why. Well, I think it's about a prize. Ah, yes, it was a prize. It's been exciting. And I'm heading for the last roundup, so I'm glad that this evening took place before that came. <laughs> I. I just think life without art is a very sad place to be. We can always find money to fight stupid wars and things, but no, no. To get art, it's difficult. It's not an easy job to ask all of you talented people to give up your time and to create the art that we so enjoy. I just can say to you, I'm very old, I'm getting tired. I won't be around much longer, but I'm very glad that you all exist and have made my life a better life because you do. I thank you. Joan McConnell Award goes to Sarah Mecca Abdurrahman of Ottawa, Ontario for Sambuza After School. Thank you very much, Queen. Congratulations. Congratulations. So we're hoping that Sarah stayed awake because she's actually way across the world in Germany right now, which is about 4 a.m., I think. <laughs> so hopefully you're there. Congratulations, Sarah. <laughs> so Sarah Mecca is a Somali Indian artist based in Ottawa and Montreal. Her art blends painting and video, delving into cultural heritage, migration, and land history. A graduate of Concordia University, She's exhibited at prestigious venues, design murals, and lead workshops. Her work resides in private collections and the City of Ottawa Art Collection, and has recently been featured in Buclair's residency in digital arts. Sarah Mecca is a rising star in the art world, uniting cultures and sharing compelling narratives through her work, and is watching our live stream from Germany. Congratulations. Well, that's uh, almost a wrap. What we'd like to do is invite all the artists, uh, participating artists who are here to come up and join us on stage for recognition from the crowd, please. Come on up.
Don't be shy. And while everyone's making their way up, John and I would like to uh, give some kudos to the, the real workings behind the scenes. So come on up. We'd like to thank our sponsors and donors, our entire team that makes this possible, the supporters, art collectors, the public, yourself, everybody watching, and of course, artists and our amazing volunteers that make this happen. So let's give a round of applause for them. And if you feel so compelled, um, you're always welcome to contribute to SNAP, make donations, and support this uh, fabulous national show that we have every two years. Ladies and gentlemen, here's your artists of SNAP and PASS. Oh, Josie, we've got a couple more. Missing. Keep going. Keep applauding. No, you can <laughs> pretend it's Janet standing up here. <laughs> I see a few more of you yeah, guys out there. <laughs> okay, thanks, everybody, for joining us this evening. Uh, I think we're all going to run down. Where are we going to head to now, Kaylee? We're going for the after party. Yep. Hope you're all there over at the gallery where we all met at the beginning. So please join us for some wine and some congratulations of all these hard workers up on this stage that make this possible. And thank you for attending and watching. If anybody needs a lift to the after party, let me know and we'll head down there. <laughs> Thanks for coming, everybody. That wraps the 2023 Salt Spring National Art Prize Awards. <laughs>